Andre Ward's next fight will be on August the 6th against Colombian super middleweight Alexander Brand. Yes, that's right. Colombian super middleweight, not light heavyweight. This is an opponent who Rock Nation had tried to get for Andre Ward previously. It was either earlier this year or, or it was last year that Rock Nation tried to get this guy. So they've had their eye on this particular opponent for a while. He is, as I say, Colombian. He's 39 years of age. He's 25 and 1 with 19 KOs. And that one loss, interestingly, was to Badu Jack. And that was a split decision loss over eight rounds back in 2012. And again, interestingly enough, uh, Brand's last fight was against a Russian uh, light heavyweight. I believe he uh, primarily campaigns at light heavyweight called Medz, Medzid, I think that's how you pronounce his first name, Medzid Bektemirov. All right, go look him up, Medzid Bektemirov. And he was actually unbeaten. Bektemirov was unbeaten going into to, uh, the fight with Alexander Brand. He, he may actually be a super middleweight, not a, a light heavyweight. I'll have to check off the video. Or you can go check on Box Rec or whatever. But yeah, he was an unbeaten Russian. And Alexander Brand actually beat him in his last fight on a split decision over 10 rounds. So maybe Alexander Brand is actually not that bad. Most of us assume that this was some, you know, like they say, tomato can. <laughs> some cab driver picked out of obscurity. But maybe he's one of those obscure fighters that can actually fight a little bit. You do come across them occasionally. Uh, he's had most of his fights in Colombia, and that's not normally a good sign. But he has ventured outside of Colombia. As I say, his last fight was in the United States against that Russian, and he won the fight. Now, some people are calling this a cherry pick by Andre Ward. I don't see how you can call it a cherry pick when he's already signed to fight Kovalev. So the Kovalev fight is going ahead. This is just an interim fight. It's just a stay busy fight. Or a preparation fight. A sharpen your tools type fight. And to me it seems clear what the situation is with Andre Ward at this point. He wanted a difficult opponent. He wanted an opponent that would somewhat prepare him for Kovalev. I don't know whether he's happy with Alexander Brand to be honest with you. Maybe he would have preferred Cleverly. His last fight against Sullivan Barrera. That was a decent fight in preparation for Kovalev. I think most people would agree with that. Obviously, Barrera is nowhere near as good as Kovalev, but as a step up from Ward's previous opposition and also to serve as some type of preparation for Kovalev, most people thought, okay, this is an acceptable fight. And a lot of people are going to be saying that this Alexander Brand fight is a step down from the Barrera fight. And it might be. I, I've never seen Alexander Brand fight. So I, I can't even comment on that. But. The point being. Ward is going to need. The best preparation possible. Going into the Kovalev fight. He's going to need to be firing on all cylinders. If he wants to maintain the unbeaten record. And avoid taking a trip to the canvas. So I don't think. Ward will be looking for. A soft touch. In the lead up to the Kovalev fight. I don't think he's looking for that. I think he's looking for rounds. He's looking for guys who can actually test him. Not beat him obviously. But test him. That's what he's looking for. And I think the issue. Is with Ward's promoter. Rock Nation. And I've spoken on this previously. Rock Nation is not a big promoter. In the sport of boxing. They have a marquee name. In Miguel Cotto. But he already has a fan base. He's already established. He's already an international star. So they didn't have to build Miguel Cotto. The big paydays will come to Cotto. He don't have to go out looking for the big paydays. So there weren't that much work that Rock Nation had to do with Miguel Cotto. Andre Ward is different. Andre Ward is not a big international name like Cotto is. With Andre Ward, they do have to work. With Andre Ward, the big purses won't come to him. He has to go chase them. And I think because of all that, uh, Rock Nation are showing their limitations being unable to secure Andre Ward with adequate preparation. 
aside from the Barrera fight, they haven't been able to provide him with adequate preparation for this Sergey Kovalev showdown in the winter time. That's my way of looking at it. I can't see why anybody would want soft, soft touches going into a Kovalev fight. I don't think Ward does. I just think his team were the wrong team. And I criticized Ward for this when he signed with Rock Nation. I, I kept saying he should have signed with Uncle Al. I've got no idea why he signed with Rock Nation. I don't know why anybody would be signing with rappers. <laughs> you know, this is boxing. Why are you signing with rappers for? Sign with boxing people who understand the game. That's my take on it anyway. So let me know what you think, people. Have any of you actually watched Alexander Brand fight? If so, what do you think of him? How do you think Ward will deal with him? And do you think this is adequate preparation for him going into the Kovalev fight? And if you don't believe that Ward wants a decent test before taking on Kovalev and that this is a cherry pick and taking on, taking on Alexander Brand, please explain why, because... I just can't see why he would do that. That's shooting himself in the foot if he's deliberately taking an easy fight when he didn't look particularly sharp against Barrera. So why would he take an easy fight? You know, that's not going to help sharpen you. You need a more stern test. He don't want to get knocked out by Kovalev. He don't want to lose. So wouldn't he, wouldn't it be in his best interest to take on somebody decent? You let me know in the comment section below. All right? Shaboy Hatman, I'm out.